The works of Norman Rockwell provide a window into America's past, small town 20th century life. Whether it's after hours fun seen here at Shuffleton's Barbershop or the bustle of Blacksmith's Boy. These paintings were donated by the artist to the Berkshire Museum in the 1950s. But the museum in the state of Massachusetts, where Rockwell lived and worked for the last 25 years of his life, fell on hard times and decided to sell them. My grandfather gave them to be viewed by the people of the Berkshires, probably in gratitude uh, to the director and to the museum. I think the museum is losing its soul. I think it's, uh, it, you know, it's very clear that it is a mission around science, history, and art, and it's decided to sell the art in order to invest in the other parts of the mission. Norman Rockwell's descendants aren't the only ones upset about it, but the museum's board, which turned down our request for an interview, says it's been losing a million dollars a year and needs to raise money to revamp its site to attract new visitors. A Massachusetts court has delayed the sale after the family and the state attorney general's office sued. The state argued the sale, also opposed by the Association of Art Museum Directors and the American Alliance of Museums, may violate the museum's responsibility as a charitable trust. Art critic Lee Rosenbaum says the move would set a bad precedent, allowing cash-strapped institutions to potentially convert public treasures into liquid assets. The Metropolitan Museum couldn't find the money for its expansion that it's planning to do, um, but it didn't sell the Rembrandts. That's not the way to do it. What you do is you pause, you postpone, you make some cuts, I mean, the Met laid off some people, and you just wait until you can get the consensus and the donor support that you need. Or risk the sale of iconic works, such as those of Norman Rockwell, to private collectors, where the American public won't get a chance to see them. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera.